Good morning, you guys. FSC Speed Shop. I'm getting ready to fire up Orwell here and take her out for a ride. Gonna go pick up a fire truck down in Pierce. Gonna take that to, I believe, Newcastle, Delaware again. This time it's not gonna be a striker, it's gonna be more like a city truck, more of a regular type fire truck. Anyway, right here is Orwell. Orwell is my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. Peterbilt built the truck in 1984. George Orwell wrote the book, 1984, hence the name. By the way, you should read that book. It's, uh, want to turn your stomach? Read the book, trust me, you really should. If you didn't read it in high school, get to it. You're missing out. Also, I wanted to point out a couple of things that we've been working on. Got a couple comments on the old Impala. Eh, that's just kind of like my beater, although I'm not really thrilled to using it in the winter, but it is what it is. We're getting ready to grab this trailer here in a minute. Right here behind me is my shop, Fest Jack Speed and Custom Shop. Here's some of the stuff we do. I wanted to point this out just to try to cross-reference some of the stuff we do. Also, you gotta bear in mind, my channel always started off as an automotive channel. That's what we did. The truck kind of became happenstance and the truck is why the channel blew up. So we're gonna keep focusing on the trucks primarily. However, it is still an automotive channel. However, this channel, we still work on stuff in the shop to include outside behind this wall here is a 352 Peterbilt. Hopefully we're gonna get started on that soon. Uh, just as soon as the owner of that truck gets everything settled with his life. Um, obviously not everybody did so well through the pandemic. Either way, here we go. Right here is a 68 Chevelle frame I've been working on for Gene and Sarah Alaska up in Tampa, Florida. And what me and Matt were doing yesterday was modifying this here transmission cross member so it'll work on the new pads that I built right here. You see the floor jack where I had it holding it so I can mock it up and tack weld it together. Right here's the finished product that Matt and I did. Of course, I still have to yet paint it. Over here, I can't claim credit on this, but over here is the engine going into it. This right here is a 502 cubic inch Chevy big block. Obviously a big blower sitting on top of it. And right here, let me move this chair. Is a brand new 400 transmission to hold it. All the power. So that's what we got going on right here. This obviously is just an old pile of junk that came out of my old snowmobile. Not sure what we're gonna do with that car. I don't even know if I'm gonna do anything with that car, but we might. Either way, coming up soon, we're gonna be bolting this together with this and then bolting it on here with, of course, a solid engine mount kit because, you know, who wants rubber with that kind of power, right? So that's what we do here. In addition to that, we vlog our exploits with our truck right here. Okay, enough of me yapping, let's get and fire it up and get to work because got a busy day ahead of me today. Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. Are you tired of being treated like crap by your company? Are you tired of being stuck out in the cold without being able to be warm? Are you tired of every payday, your paycheck just isn't what it's supposed to be, if it's even there at all? Well, I have the answer for you, suffer no more. Right here behind me is a Widmeyer Express Company truck. This here is a 2015 T660 Kenworth. I just drove this all the way down from Wisconsin here to Ohio Bobtail and to come rescue my truck, my 84 Peterbilt. And let me tell you, I actually like this truck. Let me tell you something about it. It's available for you. That's right, if you wanna work with me at Woodbuyer Express, this truck and a few others like it are available for you to drive. What's the catch? Well, drivers, there is no catch. Here's the deal. Woodmeyer Express is a family-owned company started by Fritz Woodmeyer in the 80s. And I've been with these guys for 15 years. That's right, 15 years. And I've been happy ever since I started. See, Fritz Widmeyer, God rest his soul, made me a deal. He said, real simple, if you work hard, you'll make money. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Now, Fritz may not be with us, unfortunately, but the family still remains. All his children still work for the company. All of his sons drove at one point or another. This is not a trucking company of people with suits and ties that have no clue. As an example, this truck right here. This is by no means any typical company truck stripped down to nothing. This here has your APU in it to keep you warm at night. It's got all the creature comforts and amenities that you want in your own truck. Fact is, you don't even have to drive your own truck to work here and make some money. So you're probably asking yourself, what do I gotta do to get this job? Okay. Here's what you do. One, a clean MVR, that always helps anywhere in the world. Two, you gotta work hard and be able to pass a drug test. Duh. Three, two years over the road experience. Four, flatbed experience. Go ahead and make the call, find out if you qualify. Also guys, owner operators. If you're an owner operator, no problem. They'll take you on too. Old school rigs, 
Need I say more? That's probably why you're here on this channel anyway. So with that, go ahead and pick up the phone and call. Change your career in trucking, change your trajectory, work with me, do the same loads I do, and drive equipment like you see right here. So do like I did, make that call. Haul the loads I did, bring some money home, change your life, change your family's life. Seriously guys, this is not a trucking job you should pass up. Boys and girls, let's go trucking. sent that ironically on the video that he made that comment I already knew I was gonna actually come to his place the thing is I'm a week ahead schedule wise right now on the videos I literally have the remainder of the striker video going out that I did and now this Okay, I know most people are here for the 
channel content of the truck. However, it's always smart to diversify your content to a point that way should anything ever happen, God forbid I get sick and can't drive or anything like that, I at least have the channel based on the fact that I was a truck driver. It's amazing the technology that goes into these fire trucks. More than just the truck. Just all the equipment in them. Sarge is here, he's loading one. Old Sarge, you'll meet him, I'm sure. Side of his truck says BSAB. He's an old army guy. BSAB, claim stands for bullshitter at best. And I see Justin here too. Justin's got a stretched out Peter built. Two of them actually. I know the guy that used to own that truck. Our drivers of the world unite over here. Hello.
good up front or no? Bring it back, old thing. One more. That's good. Now the challenge is always to tie these down. And yeah, they do supply these tie down hooks, but you don't want to scratch them, especially when they're brand new like they are. So I usually try to grab them from down below and that's always a challenge in and of itself. So we're gonna set up the GoPro so you can see how I do it. You grab that suspension arm right there, runs between the two axles. That hook's there and it won't slide. It'll cross chain it the length of the truck down to the other side. Look at that, and we're not even rubbing the differential. to paint it and pretty. Yeah, I think I like 
that better. I might move this thing 30 times before I find a way I like it. But we're pulling back. The problem is, I don't want to get up on this drag link between the two wheels. That's okay. Still works. Thank you. 